They're still battling away at Dijon. This is the fight for seventh place between Jean-Marc Goulon's Mercedes and Armin Harner in the green six-speed Porsche, which was started in this race by Michael Bartels. And the Mercedes doesn't seem to be particularly happy in the handling department. And look at the Porsche going right over the curbs in Armin Harner's efforts to get to grapple with the big V12 Mercedes. They've got some back markers in front of them and this may give Armin Harner his chance. Headlights ablaze. The two GT1 cars come over the brow and Armin Harner tucked in behind the blue Mercedes. They're coming over the start-finish line now. Harner has a little look at the inside and Gunnar moves across to keep the door shut. Harner almost pushed right off the road there as the two of them lap one of the GT1 Porsche 911s and still the Mercedes leads down the hill. More more traffic ahead of them. The French privately owned uh, McLaren keeps well over to the right of the road as the two of them go through and fun of the little 911s being almost swept off the track completely as the Paynors now catches up with them. This is David Brabham in the silver Paynors. He's taken over from Eric Bernard and he is a lap ahead of the two cars in front of him battling over seventh place, the Mercedes and the Porsche. The Paynors comes over the brow as a locked wheel there from Jean-Marc Gounod in the blue Mercedes shows that he's starting to feel the pressure from the Porsche behind him and the Paynor's getting closer, the Paynor's running now in fifth place and the two cars in front of him battling for seventh and now the Porsche goes through on the inside surely, yes he's done it, Bartels elbows through on the inside at last instantly moves away as the Paynor's now goes through and Jean-Marc Gounod goes very very wide and the Paynor's splits the battling too. Up into seventh place now goes Armin Hana in the Zack Speed Porsche, but Gunnar is fighting back. Gunnar tries to go through with the Paynors. That's an old trick. If the car in front of you is about to be lapped by a faster car, tuck in invisibly behind it and try and follow it through. But now the Mercedes has lost the momentum, and as the Paynors goes ahead to gobble up Armin Hana, so Gounod now has a problem from the privately entered French run uh, 1997 GT1 Porsche driven today by Bob Wallach, the great veteran uh, of sports car racing from France and Gounod now has to keep the door very firmly shut on the right hand side of the road because the lumbering GT1 1997 Porsche is absolutely alongside him as they come into the brow again the Mercedes is on the inside and Jean-Marc Gounod going wide but even wider goes the GT1 Porsche and that's given Jean-Marc Gounod just a little bit of breathing space but I suspect not for very long we see it again, Gounod coming down on the brakes, locks up a front wheel as he goes into that left hander, then the Porsche locks up a front wheel too, and as the Mercedes slides wide, so the Porsche slides even wider and over the curve